Hello everybody once again and welcome back to Amateur Astronomy and Storm Chasing. Thank you guys so much for joining me on what is once again here in the middle of December. An absolutely beautiful day here in Middle Tennessee. Today is the, the morning after really. Uh, last night's great conjunction of Jupiter and Saturn. And that was that was absolutely amazing. I still can't really get over that. Uh, tonight I'm going to try to do some more work with it. I'm not totally sure how that's going to work out with, with this setup. If not, I'm actually going to go in and attempt to get a picture, um, go in and take you know, a good handful of exposures, go in and stack them, and try and get a really good picture of the conjunction. Now I know they're not as close as they was last night, but they'll definitely still be in the frame of this uh, wide field William Optics Z61. Uh, they may be too small to do anything with, but that's just something I won't have to play around with here in a little while and find out. Now this will actually be the very first time that I've ever used this setup for anything other than deep sky objects. Although after last night, I have a feeling a planetary imaging setup is definitely something in my future. If it's not, I'll be using my Skywatcher HEQ5 mount with the William Optics Z61 telescope. I have the uh, adjustable 61 fill flattener attached to the scope. And I also use the Pegasus Pocket Power Box, which has been an absolute lifesaver with this setup right here. It just makes everything easy. All I do is plug in one cord, run an extension cord back to the house, and that's it. The whole rig is up and going. Absolutely love that about this setup. It's kind of a nuisance to carry around, but hey, it's doable. And some of the shots I've got with it so far, I'm not going to complain one bit with it. Now, as I said earlier, this is a wide field imaging rig right here. The focal length on the Z61, I believe, is something like 363 millimeters or something like that. So Jupiter and Saturn are going to be very, very small in it. It's going to have to wait and find out. It should be a fun experiment nonetheless. That's the whole thing with this whole astrophotography thing. It's just all playing around until something finally works out right. That seems to be the case for me anyway so far. Am I doing it wrong? It is so much more still out here tonight than it was last night. I won't imagine like seeing condition wise, it's probably a lot better than it was last night because the wind was pretty harsh yesterday. I'm sure y'all heard it in my video, especially yesterday. But even last night, it was still trying to pick up every now and then. And I'm sure that was kind of shaking the scope and everything too. And again, you know, it's kind of keeping the atmosphere stirred up and just, just not the best seeing conditions. But tonight it should be a whole lot better. Um, one thing I mentioned earlier, this, uh, pegs this pocket power box all it takes just one extension cord ran from the garage one off the mount right here and that runs the entire mount it can't get much simpler than that one other thing i love about the power box too is it actually has a dslr output where you can buy a battery for your dslr camera that actually plugs into the power box that way you don't have to worry about a power supply it's another cord to have to manage, but I'd rather deal with that than have to worry about batteries dying all night. Okay, so I'm up and going now. I don't know if you can see right here, but I've got Jupiter and Saturn in the frame. And uh, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to do this in video mode because this T3i in video mode, I just have no uh, control over the exposure whatsoever. I mean, you can definitely see the moons and everything in the video, which is really cool. And I actually just got a really sweet picture of an airplane uh, going through the frame. I got that on video as well. I'll show, you, show that to you just here in a second. But um, I think what I'm going to have to do is just take... Uh, take photos I went inside and I looked at some samples um, the detail is there but man they're just they're so small in this wide field scope so I'm gonna have to do some major major cropping uh, Saturn looked really good I think it's because it's dimmer 
I don't know, I'm gonna have to do some different exposures and go in and stack all those together. But yeah, this is gonna be a different kind of project. I'm, I'm looking forward to getting started on the uh, post-processing of this, just to see what I can do. It may be nothing at all, or it may turn out fairly cool. Uh, I'm not sure. Whatever happens, thank you for sticking around for this long at least so far. So, let's go ahead and start popping off some pictures. I'm gonna go ahead and call it a night now. Uh, unfortunately, Jupiter's already uh, way too long on, on the rise for me to shoot anymore. That's a tough thing about this target, man. There's this, by the time it's actually visible after sunset to the time it starts setting, like that, it's just such a small window. I wish I had more time on this target, but I'll definitely take whatever I can get. I think this has definitely been my most fun astronomical event so far. Definitely one I've had most luck with anyways. Um, I went in, I took, I think, five or six different exposures at uh, different exposure lengths to pick up on some of the detail for both Jupiter and Saturn. And also went in two and uh, was sure to get a couple pictures so I'm going to overlay the moons of Jupiter. And I think I may even got uh, one of the moons of Saturn. I'm not totally sure on that. Just have to go and see. But I'm really excited to get this uh, in the post-processing stage just to see what I can get. Again, it may be terrible. That's the thing about this hobby. <laughs> just have to Kind of wait and see what you get at the end. Maybe an all for nothing. Fingers crossed, though, as always, that this works out. So, we'll go ahead now. Put this baby to bed. Okay, so I stayed up most of the night editing on this picture, and I've also been working on it pretty much all day today. And I finally got it somewhere where I'm personally pretty proud of it. Uh, by, uh, by no means is it my best planetary photography. <laughs> But, uh, so what I've done, uh, first off I edited some of the pictures I took last night through my William Optic Z61. And also, I took my best video that I shot through my Dobsonian the other night of the actual conjunction itself. And I've also went in and stacked some of those pictures as well. So here at the end of the video, I'll be showing two different pictures. One through the, uh, my imaging rig and the other one through my Dobsonian. Now, as I've mentioned a few times in this video already, the William Optic Z61 scope is a wide field imaging refractor. By no means is it meant for uh, planetary imaging. Uh, see, I think it's like 360 millimeter focal length, so it's meant for big targets like Andromeda, Pleiades, and stuff like that. And I've had really good luck on objects like that, and I'll go ahead and show some of these attempts to you guys right now. imaging now nah, this thing is uh, not not the best scope to use for that um, Jupiter and Saturn were so so small in the frame that I had to zoom in I had to crop so much just to get this picture right here thankfully there is a little bit of detail and I also managed to get a couple other cool pictures as well showing you know some stars in behind Jupiter and chat and Saturn shining really brightly now neither of these pictures are great by no means but I'm just happy that I was fortunate enough to be able to see this awesome astronomical event. And I'm happy to show you guys my take on it. So that pretty well wraps it up for me on this event. And as always, thank you guys all so, so much for watching. And I hope you enjoy. <laughs>